Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-month August, August reading. I am going to use the same spread that I used for the beginning of the month. However, this time it will be for the week that we just ended or ending like today, moving into the third week of August and the last week of August. I can't believe we're almost done with August. So the past energies that you just are leaving is the Hermit, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the outcome would be the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, and we're gonna look at uh, career and finances first. So what you're coming out of, okay, so for some of you, you're going to get, some, you either just got some communication from afar, from a distance, that is has made you go within to do some uh, introspection to take the wisdom within you to make a choice to move forward but this news that's coming forward or that just did or may over the next couple of days is going to be a cause for celebration and it may come from a queen of wands. Queen of wands is a person who's fiery, passionate energy. I mean, they've got their, all their stuff. They're beautiful. They're energetic. They, they know how to do business. Okay. They're very good at it. They're very good in the public eye. So this could be a, a company that is offering you an opportunity to accept a new position with them. So either they just ended or you're going to do it in the next couple days, leading you into around the 15th-ish of the month this next week. So we have the Emperor, the Seven of Wands, the Star, and the Three of Pentacles. Here the Emperor is a person, and this could be a CEO of a company. The Emperor is somebody who knows how to build a solid, strong foundation. This is a person who's got it all together. And... They can be very stoic, they can be stubborn, but the reason they're stubborn is because they've been there. They're very wise, they've been through it all, they know what works and what doesn't work, which is why they are successful. So for some of you, you may be moving and getting an offer here. This offer could be this person, and this could represent you. Maybe you're fiery and passionate, but I'm hearing you're two. So for a group of you, you're getting two offers. One is from afar, the other one may not be from afar. When this person comes in, this could be an existing person that you've been working with. Maybe you're going to give your notice in this week that's coming, <clears throat> standing up for what you believe in, so you give your notice. And it's kind of fearful. It kind of reminds me of like a principal of a school, you know, when you get in trouble <laughs> and you have to go to the principal's office. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me. But Stand strong in what you believe in because your wishes are going to come true. See, you're really good at something. That whatever it is that you do for a career, you're really good at it. And you work very hard at it. You love what you do. And it shows. See, it shows if you embrace this energy of the Queen of Wands, this passion, fire, being able to do this, it coordinates with this card, right? This will lead you into the last week of August and you may have another offer coming through. This is a really good offer coming through. It could equate to this, so it may take a couple weeks. You may give a two week notice, get the, get the information, give the notice here. This person is offering you something solid and stable and grounded. For some of you, you may lose a job, but don't don't feel at a loss, okay? I realize the Five of Cups is sad. Maybe you're sad to leave where you were because you've accepted this new offer. But in accepting the new offer, you have the Six of Pentacles here. You, This is a really good offer coming through. Now, this card, the end of August, is the, the Two of Wands, which means you have a choice to make. So for some of you, this choice may leave you sad because you don't want to leave where you're at. You may actually like where you're at. But this offer that's coming through is going to be really, really good for you. You've got good stuff coming, and it's not going to really come to fruition until like the beginning week of September, first couple weeks of September. 
Now, relating this to love, some of you are going to have communication from somebody far away. The Eight of Wands represents communication coming in super, super fast, and typically it's from a distance. So you may be dealing with somebody in your apart, and they're coming back into your life. They're contacting you, so you need to go within. Now that, again, is what we just came out of, the week that we're ending now, rolling into the next couple days, but this person is going to contact you, and it is going to make you feel really happy. So, I don't know if they're going to offer you to reunite, but it's definitely going to have a lot of passion and romance involved in it. Maybe they're going to ask you to go on a trip and travel to see them. Maybe they're going to travel to see you. But if it didn't just happen, it's coming into it. You are going to get that communication, which is going to lead us into the next week. So the person you're dealing with, the person who's contacting you, may be a very stoic person. The emperor... They're really, I see them as um, a very mature person who, who is exceedingly wise because they really have been through it all. But they don't disclose their emotions very well. They hide them. However, this person, when you stand up strong to them and you embrace who you are, stand up strong in who you are, and defend yourself, your wishes are going to come true because this is something you've been working really hard. You've tried to get this union to happen and they're coming back. And when they come back and you stand up for yourself, you're being spiritually guided to do that. You're going to get an offer. For some of you, you may make an offer and they turn you down. For others, you may get an offer. And the only reason I, I, you know, I know this card, the Five of Cups, is about crying over spilled milk. It's about feeling a loss. Sometimes when we let go of people that we love, because this could be a father figure. This could be somebody not in a romantic realm, but somebody that you love. And you're choosing to walk away from them. So you may accept this other offer. If it's romantic, you may have a new offer, which makes you feel sad because whoever this other person is is somebody you care deeply for. But in making the decision, you need to make it for what is ultimately the best for you. So the last week of the month, you have an opportunity to have reciprocity. Oftentimes, I've found that when I'm dealing with people who are very stoic, they don't do a lot of reciprocity <laughs> for me. What I've experienced is they typically don't give a whole lot. They're, they, they, they're just stoic. They keep everything inside. And I mean emotional-wise. And I don't mean uh, you know materialistic things. I think they have a lot of money. Typically, they do tend to give in that area. I'm more about um, you know actual emotions is what I'm talking about so you have a decision to make do you want to go and accept the offer or do you not ultimately you want love and you've been working really hard at it so you have an opportunity now for some of you you could have an offer from here here and here this could be somebody you're leaving all right and you're going to accept this offer you're going to stand up for what you want, but your wishes are going to come true. For others, you have two offers coming in. So the week that you're moving out of, all right, that we're leaving, that uh, romance message for you is very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Definitely ties in with the reading. So when this information, when this news comes in, decide what you want because Apparently, you have two weeks to figure that out, but it is saying you need to make a decision of what you want because it's in root. For those of you who want love and romance, it's in root. It is on its way. The next one that comes in is uh, uh, comes up is unrequited love. There's not enough love or chemistry and attraction to keep this relationship going. So that falls into place with why somebody may be feeling sad you're walking away from a relationship. 
this emperor, very stoic. This may be the person that you're walking away from. And I know this is going to fit with some of you in whatever group you are in. Yeah, but you have a new offer coming here. So don't feel sad. And <laughs> here it is. New love. Okay? So for some of you, you've got new love in root the last week of August. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yes, you may be feeling sad because you care about this person that's leaving your life. But that's okay. This could be a person of the past that's calling you. This could be a new person. But this person right here... You've got this coming. You've got good things coming. Definitely new love coming. And ultimately, that's what you want, is you want a brand new, beautiful love life filled with passion, romance, grounded and stable, with a sense of longevity to it. So that when you invest and you are giving, you're also taking. Reciprocity is part of this. This new person, is the one who's going to give you that back and forth that you need. It's not one person carrying the full load while the other person does not because they are unable to open up emotionally and verbally. They don't even open up verbally. For those of you in a relationship, you may be getting news coming in from far. That, again, that makes you, you may have just received it or it's coming in over the next couple days. But it's something to celebrate. So for a lot of you, you've got celebration here. For some of you, you, you may be leaving your partner. Yes, absolutely. Because the wish that you wanted is actually coming true. All right? And when we're dealing with somebody with unrequited love, that is a very difficult thing to do. So when you're looking at the cards, you've got very soon, figure out what you want, unrequited love do you want that or do you want the new love all right so that's that's your decision and whatever it is your wish is coming true so go within your wish is coming and offers are in root so have an absolutely wonderful two weeks and i will see you in yikes september much love